Hello, I'm Bill Bono, Product Manager at Orbitalum. Today what we're going to talk about is the RPG 4.5 facing tool. Um, this is a very nice tool for being able to use in a fab shop location or in position in a plant. Um, basically what this does is that it is meant to, I'll try to bring these right in front here, it will face the ends of a piece of tube so that when you take these two pieces and you join them together, you virtually get one straight piece of tube. Okay, so that's what we will use before we start the orbital welding process. So because this is used on thin wall stainless steel that can collapse very easy in a regular vice type application, we use collets. The collets are machined into a radius that matches the OD of the tube that we're gonna work on. So I'm just gonna take this out so you can see it very simply that the tube matches the radius of the collets. So every time I wanna change the size, I have to change these collets as well too. Very simply done. It has a snap in, there's no tools required that the simply drop in, go over some pins, pop into place, and once they're in, they cannot come out until you release them. So to actually clamp onto a piece of tube, I've got a piece of tube here, you simply position it inside the machine where you want it to be, and then this lever comes over and locks down, and that's it, the, the, the piece is in there square, um, solid, so it's ready to machine. With the RPG-15, now with a piece of tube clamped in, what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you exactly how this will do the facing operation. You can kind of get an idea where it is through this window. We've removed the protective plexiglass purely for our video presentation so you can see exactly how it machines. Um, the machine has a feed knob located on the back of it. That's actually what's gonna feed us in and out, make the, the motion. And then we have our, our drill, which will power the machine and give us a rotational force. So I'm just gonna turn this on. We have a scale on the back of the machine that tells us what speed to set on the motor that matches the diameter we're gonna work on. So literally, the machine is running, everything's good, so all I have to do now is I'm going to rotate this forward, machine it in, and then I'm just going to trim off the end of the tube. You can see now it's, it's pulling off the, the chip, removing material. So all I have to do is get that until it's got a continuous speed all the way around. Once it's done, I'll very simply release the feed, let it continue one time around, and then back the knob off and turn off the drill. At this point, the machining is done. I can release this and then we can take a look and we can see our faced end. There's no burrs on it and basically that end is ready to butt up against another piece of two-inch tube and put it into our orbital welder. 